Any audience in the stream? Yo, yeah, we're live. Sup? Come through if you need a head start. So I think this should work. Okay, so yeah. Yo, guys. Yo. Yo, yo, yo. So let me pop up the chat so, be, so I can read it. And if you have any question, I can answer on the stream. So yeah, hello. Yeah, I use an FLP. Yeah, I use FL Studio to do my charts. So yeah. I have a MIDI converter. So yeah. Yo, hello, guys. Thanks for joining my quick stream. This is going to be a quick one. Pretty sure it's gonna be a quick one, hopefully, because I already have the entire MIDI done. So yeah, let me pull the chat somewhere so we can see what's happening. Okay, let me minimize this. Okay, that, this should work. Let's get started with this. Oli Oli, desde Argentina. Hmm. So yeah, so surprise, they have a new remix for the next week. It's a Spirit of Justice remix, it's over here. I'm gonna turn it a little bit down because I need to hear the instrument. So yeah, this, this is what I'm gonna be charting today. The custom remix of Speed of Justice. Yeah, this is a banger by the way. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna be charting. Usually, there's two ways you can go. You can there's basically two ways you can do this. What, first, it's like, if you're making your own music, you already have access to the entire MIDI data of a song, so you can use that. In my case, I, I made my song, so I have the MIDI over here, you know. You can see it here, I have all of my MIDI. Boom. I need to arrange this because some notes are out of the range and stuff, but this is basically my whole MIDI. And the other way is just using a MIDI out of the internet. In both ways, in both cases, you will end with something like this. You will end with an audio track, with a BPM on the top, and you will end with your MIDI, MIDI data. So, on FL Studio, you can do everything on MIDI Channel 1. Some uh, audio audio software uses like MIDI Channel 0, so the first channel, but you get me, your first channel. So, again, in FL Studio, you have, uh, in Trombone Champ, you have like a range of like middle C plus 12 semitones. And minus 12 semitones, so you this is your entire range. Anything above this or below this will not register in the game. So yeah, you, you need to limit yourself to that range of notes. Uh, yeah, let me let me show you what I usually do. For example, this one, I am using basically use Serum to get this started. So the first thing I usually do is try to like hear the entire song and see which notes are like out of range and try to change this so it's it works in a funny way you know like it's fun to play so for example all this section usually was below here and as you can see this is like below the range and i can just do this for example and just transpose it like higher up and it's just like this and that works but that's not fun to play so what i did instead it was just transpose the entire melody of this part like higher up and it sounds higher but it makes sense to play you know like everything's on the same place So yeah, first I just go section by section check it out like how this is going to pan out because in the game this is what is gonna work exactly as the game works you know so it's gonna be two 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 the length I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of that later and the slides and everything else first I just try to get everything on the range so yeah as you can see almost everything about this arrange arrangement is already working. You see. For example, this part over here, it was for, it was down here. So as you can see, this node over here is outside the range of my C4. So I, again, I can do this, and this works. But I don't think that's fun to play. So I prefer to transpose this entirely, and it works like this now. I think that works. Yeah, I think this works. That works. That works. All of this works. All of this is just working.
So again, here, this is outside the range. What I'm gonna do here, instead of like, I can, again, I can just like wrap this around one octave. But I don't think that's fun to play, so I prefer to do this. That works. Your fresh stamp, thanks for joining. Again, this is a quick thing here. Just pull it up. So all of this, I think, is already on range. Yeah, all of this, it's working as intended. I don't need to turn smooth anything else. So this is basically my first step on making the chart. Oh, uh, so yeah, <laughs> these are like FL macros, but yeah, you can use this. So chief and plus and plus down moves, moves this like one uh, up and down, you know? With the up, up and down arrows, I mean. And control up and down arrows move it one scale, one, one entire semi, uh, octave. Like this, and, and and shift like left right moves it like half a bit. So yeah. So first thing I usually do on this part is like right now I am on one fourth of a bit. Uh, that's not good. I'm gonna do bit. So this is basically what the game sees. Half a bit is like safe. Half a bit. This is like safe. You can do this. And actually, you can work on like one four. One four works, but there is something you need to be aware of. For slide notes. Don't go lower than this. There's a big chance you're gonna break slide notes. It has to be aligned to like one four of a bit for slides. Everything else, if I if I play like short notes, this can be anywhere. It can be here. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But slides, they have to be aligned to like at least one four of a bit. At least. That's a bare minimum. You can get away from doing like one 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 eighth of a bit, for example. It, F flat doesn't even allow it, you know. That's that's the issue. This is aligned to one four of a bit, and one eighth should be like here, you know. And this might work. You need to go like sorry. It allows one four. It needs to be steps uh, like here, half step. This is going to work, but I don't recommend that. I will play it safe, especially because people will not notice like the slight length below one fourth of a note. It's never gonna matter, like one hundred percent of the time. But you can do it. I just wouldn't suggest like trusting it in my break, and you will need to like do some kind of manual tuning. So yeah, I got it. So we we got the entire MIDI like transposed to the correct scale. Everything looks fine. The the, the, the patterns looks fine. So yeah, that's the first step. Second step, actually placing the notes and the length of the note. That's the main thing. And the slides. Those these, those are the next two steps. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hear this part. So yeah, all of this, for example, this part over here, I'm pretty sure it repeats like four times, right? This is actually the same here until here. So basically, I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna start preparing my MIDI so I can work this in a quicker way, so. So yeah, over there, it's repeating already. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm just gonna start like, putting this into like a repeat into repeat so all of this works so. so there another one this is different I do this because like uh, these sections are the same so I don't need to like <laughs> you know chart them twice or like seven eight times so yeah this is the same Boom. you can do this on your software but this is this is just me like optimizing my workflow for FL Studio Let's get started. So first, one of the first, first thing you need to do like on Tom and Champ. I like this unique by the way. Yeah. So this part over here, let's get started. One of the first thing you need to know about like Tom and Champ is like the length of the notes are really weird, really, really weird. So for example, this, this looks short, right? This is not short. This is not short at all. This is actually really long. If you want like short notes on Open Champ, you need to do this. And this, I think this is still like a little bit longer than it should be. So yeah. 
And that works. That's a good line. I usually do like one quarter of a bit for like short notes and it works fine. So yeah. So this over here too. This is too long. This is almost gonna be a slide. I know it because I have done like four songs already. So I'm gonna make it like a little bit shorter. Like this maybe? Yeah, that works. And same here. I usually, if for like notes that are not connected, I would leave at least like half of it. This is half of it. If you, we go to like a beat uh, measure. Oh wait, it's not half. This is a quarter of a beat, yeah. This is quarter of a beat, yeah. A quarter of a beat is like fine for like, a, as a separation between notes. So yeah, this works, I think. This is, this should be like, dun, 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 dun. I'm just seeing what I So this, all of these are chords. There's like no slides here. I'm gonna use, do, use a bunch of chord notes. Like that, that works. I think that works, yeah. These are good staccatos. Like that. That works for me. So let's do the same here now, with this next section. So all of this should be like half of this. Like, yeah, I'm gonna do half. Yeah, that works. So you, you see where it is? This is going to not work. That's gonna slide on the game, but in a broken way. So you always need to leave a separation. So this should be like this. section so that this is who i usually chart an entire track i just go like one by one why are you using track 16 and 17 i'm not using track 16 and 17 i'm using track one like this is clearly track one so chief c selects everything on your track so you can see this is actually track one if i go for example to track channel 16 and use it and do like chief c channel 16. so don't do that always channel one always channel one you can even change the colors if you want to be like entirely sure you can change the color of like channel one. You can make it like red. <laughs> so it's really obvious, but uh, oh fuck, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> no, okay, let's go. Ah, uh, no, uh, okay, I messed up. I shouldn't have done that. I actually don't know how to return to like the default color. So yeah, don't do this. Uh, I think that's it. Okay, yeah, that's the color. <laughs> So yeah, this is like too long too. Tu, 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 tu. And this thing. Tu, 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 da, da. So actually, I should be used copying this one. Yeah, I should be used copying this one. And, and this is just like the same. So yeah, all of this, it looks fine, but... Should be shorter, it should be shorter, like... So I'm gonna contise that, I think that's a good leg for this section. I use contise like this. So yeah. This part is a brass check, you can hear that. Actually for brass checks I do this. So I'm gonna quantize this. So I'm gonna do this, 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 this. For me this is a check. So now for the thing that everything gets lost on, slide. How I do a slide work on this game? So I'm gonna make a paint drawing. So you can see this, right? I cannot do paint, I forgot. I'm not staring my screen. So yeah, for example this. This right now is gonna be extremely broken. I'm gonna shorten this up. Okay, so yeah, now we have an overlapping note, okay? So if we have this overlapping note, what does the game do? And what does my MIDI converter do? The game does this. Oh, I place a note. Place the note with the values like on this pitch with no pitch change, so it stays on that pitch. 
and wait. It checks now for the next node that's placed it. So for example, if I ended this node here, the game says, oh wait, I saved that last node and I got a, a node off message. This one, here's where the node ends. It says, oh, okay. So that last node we saved it, there is no big change. It's not sliding. So yeah, add it to the list of nodes. So it add this node to the to your chart, you know, to your entire chart. But if the game detects that there is another node on and it doesn't get a node off before getting a node on, it says, oh, so yeah, you are sliding now. So what the game is going to do is like, okay, you remember the last node? We need to change it a little bit. It says, okay, so we are going to slide from the start of the node to the start of the new node over here. I'm going to add that to the dictionary. I mean, to the to the, to the to your to your chart. It's going to save that. It's going to say, and after saving that node, it says, okay, so now that we save that node, the, uh, we're going to add a, we're going to save a new node with the with the starting values of the new node. So for example, if we do that, it's going to slide from here to here, and it's going to wait, and it's going to ask the same question. Did, did I get a, a node off? Yes, no. If if it gets a node off, for example, here, it's going to add the node with, with the changes. But if it slides again, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to say, oh, OK, so my new node is going to slide from here to here. Save the one, add this to the list, new one, save it to save it temporarily, and keep checking. And that's the logic. So if I wanted to do like a shake, which is like, you know, like, like, like a vibrato, Type of deal, I usually do this. So if I did this directly, the game is gonna slide from here to this one really slowly, and that's not what I want. So if you want to start a slide later, you can do this. You can just duplicate these two notes. And this is another thing the game does. It's like if there is two notes that are like right next to each other, the game says, Oh, these two notes are really, really close together. I'm gonna make them one note. So we add this one, and the next one is right at the start of the uh, the start of this one is right at the end of the previous one. It's gonna say, "Oh, so these two notes are one note," and it's gonna just join them together. So if I did this now, it's not gonna slide from here to here. It's gonna start here. It's gonna slide here. And it's gonna say, "Oh yeah, we end. Make a new one." And so it's gonna start from the second note here to up here, and that's a much a steeper slope than the previous one. Okay, so that's basically how the slide works. So and and for example, in this section, everything is like not touching together. So that's not gonna slide. It's gonna be really buggy. So if we want this to slide, we just like overlap them a little bit. So this now, the way this is charted, is going to do this. It's gonna stay in this node. It's gonna move here. It's gonna start sliding up, and and then it's gonna start like going up, down, like in a wave. And this is stuck to the effect I want, like a. So yeah, this whole chart for this set. Let's keep going. Let's keep listening to the stuff. So that section, ta -da -na -na, I like that, and that I want that to slide. So what I will do? Same thing. I can overlap this, but that's like a really slow slide, and and it's not like that. It's like it's not wah, wah, wah. It's like wah, 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 you know. So for that, I usually do the same thing I did before. Quantize this, make a new node, slide it a little bit. And that's the process. It's really, really simple until you rust this concept of like, oh, so if start from the be the start the the slide start from the beginning of the first node, not the end, from the beginning. So if you want a steeper slides, you just duplicate the node, quantize it, slide a little bit further, and you get the slide you want. Same here. So this, boom. I want this to slide, maybe, but I prefer not. I want that to slide for sure. But I want all of these to slide. So I know I know I want all of these to slide, so I can do this. So to help me on a server, I usually do this. Like I just, I just make it mono so I don't mess up. I make it a little more obvious. Uh, that should slide, but I'm not gonna make a slide. I'm gonna make a slide, a slide like cute here. It's gonna be funnier to play. So this should not be always. <laughs> okay. I want this to be a bit more staccato and a bit more space here. I 
all of that should should be sliding. So the same thing. We copy paste a little bit of overlap. And I, I actually want this one to slide because they are really close. And when, they, when the slides are close, they are funny to play. So this makes sense. Same here. It's another slide. Boom. And I will also want this one to slide. So I'm just going to do that. Same thing as before. A little bit of space here. Then I want this. I want this to cut off, yeah. Ba -da -na 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 -ba -da -na -na also, I want that to slide because the song is sliding. Like, so, yeah, like here. Wah. Also, that one is sliding, so it makes sense to make it slide. Like this. I can just copy paste. So yeah, we copy paste. So I can just remove all of this and just paste it here. This is gonna be a bit hard to slide, but it makes I think it makes sense to be to, to slide because the songs sound like this. This is just like charting decisions. You can make this not slide and it will be okay too. I just like slides. I think it's funny. This is Spirit of Justice, actually, it is not falling down. But yeah, Spirit of Justice uses the same thing as Rins, which is last of falling down, which is also like demo songs. Welcome to Undertale Welcome to Undertale! Yeah, this is actually very intuitive. People were bitching on the server about like this is like not intuitive. It's like okay, I I give it to you. It's not as straightforward as it should be because I am limited by, by what the game does. But at the same time, once you understand these basic rules, it's just like extremely fast. It's extremely fast. I am right now almost halfway done with the chart basically in like twenty minutes of stream with me explaining every single step of what I'm doing. <laughs> I usually do this entire thing like 20 minutes, like from beginning to end, you know? <laughs> so this part over here, I think it works. I'm just gonna make it a bit shorter because I, I hate so we turn uh, when turn notes become too long, it, it makes it turns into like a mess to play with. I think that works. Yeah, I can play fully. Don't worry. So that should slide, so I'm gonna turn it to a slide actually. Then I think I'm gonna not make it a slide there, so we'll give it a bit more of breathing room to the song. What the hell did it? Why? Why, FL Studio? Why do you do this to me? Bum, bum. I want a slide here. I want another slide here. Actually, want those slides.
Oh no, I didn't want to zoom out. I want to zoom in. Thank you, FL. Let's make this higher. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So I don't quite, I don't care about the velocity here. So yeah, that's cleaner. So yeah. Da, I'm gonna not make it slider. Da, yeah, I want that slide. I want a slide here for sure. Same intersection as before. Da, na, 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 na. that check I, I'm gonna steal the same check from here because that check over here was well done I don't need to like do it again <laughs> you can actually like kind of hear what, what what it sounds like Here, I know it repeats, so I'm gonna adjust it over here so I don't have to chart it like six times every, every time I want to change this. Yeah, yeah, the transcript, you know, like that step is necessary just if you want to do it like yourself, you know. I had the transcription already because it's like it's my own song. If you're charting like something like from another game, you know, from, like something from Chrome Hero, you can actually just take the chart from like Chrome Hero, you know, and just take the same transcription and it's gonna work. Or I, I don't know, you know. Just take a MIDI from the internet and clean it up. As long as you do it, you will always start with something look that looks like roughly like this. That's why the first step was just like cleaning it up, just transposing stuff instead of like messing directly with the lengths. Because like the the most like time exp time like uh, the part that requires the more time is actually doing this length and slide thing. You know, everything else, the other part is just a preparation, just like the initial steps. You cannot do this unless you already have the transcription ready. You know. Let me take a little bit of water because I've been talking a lot and I come to hangover from like a, <laughs> from like three days of partying. Yay! <sighs> so yeah. All of these, like, from here onwards, let me just fix it. So I'm gonna end this, like, I think I'm gonna end in here. So yeah, now I can start. Let me tackle this one because this one is just transposed down, so I can just finish this one first. So let's get started. So first, I know for sure I just want to make this a lot shorter, so I'm gonna just do this. I know this is going to work like right away. Same here, this slide's too long. Boom. So yeah, here, I'm just contise. That makes sense. So that, that's a slide that's not evident here, so I'm just gonna do this, you know? So yeah, um... I can do this, I think.
be shorter. Yeah, he's, I don't know what this one. This one. Wait. It should be li longer. Yeah. That's correct, actually. So this part is weird. I think I'm just gonna slide it normally though, like this. This should work, I think. I think this should work. Yeah. I see you, Antares. I'm working. Sorry. So this part right here, just a repeat of this one. So that's a, you know, that's a hidden slide again. I think I'm gonna do this. So yeah, this part right here, I can do, I can do this, the, the... So this is why you, how fast it usually works, but I already explained this one, this thing before, so at this point you know what I'm doing, right? This is just a shake. Yeah. 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 Okay, so yeah, this is basically done. That's the entire track. Charter. So I'm gonna take this, I'm just gonna paste it here, I'm gonna glue all of my pattern together, and I get the entire track here. So this, this entire chart, this is done. Nothing below the line. Okay, that's funny. Okay, that's funny. Nothing below the lines, everything is in the range. This should, for all purposes, this should work. So let's do it. Let's export this. File, export, as uh, MIDI file. So I'm gonna put it somewhere on my folders. So what's the name of this? This is uh, Spear of Justice, Trombone Champ, Let's Charge. So yeah, let's get this into the game, actually. So let me open the game. I actually haven't, I haven't been home since like Thursday, so there's a lot of stuff that's broken. I, I think the game shouldn't, should should work with what I currently have. I hope it does. So yeah, let me find where is my MIDI chart here. I want to start charting my screen instead. Okay, guys. So yeah, I'm gonna minimize this window. Minimize OBS in case I show stuff I shouldn't show. So yeah, let me find my MIDI chart here. MIDI to turn MIDI to trombone champ. Dot X. Open that. Oh wait, I, inst I think I changed my version of like Python. I hope it's still working. <laughs> I don't want it to install everything again. So file, open recent files. It should work. It works, okay. We're good, we're good. So let me change my screen now. Display capture. So yeah, this is a mess. Sorry for this. Uh, I have a lot of files, so this is what's it with the Spear of Justice Stomp on Chart. Okay, so we have the chart. BPM 180. I'm going to generate the metadata right now. Okay, it's doing its thing, it's working. Hello. This is faster when you do it on, with the X because it doesn't need to print everything. So, song name. This is going to be a Spear of Justice. Trombone Chap Remix. Trombone Chomp. I hate that. I forget. I cannot do so well. Trombone Chomp Remix. That's the name. Your name is Spear of Justice. Uh, folder name. This is Spear of Justice. Gear 2022. Outer. Uh, this is Toby Fox, I think I should do. Uh, I'm gonna put my name. Gender, OST, description. Trombone 
Champ. Spear of Justice from Undertale. By Toby Fox. Trombone Champ. Remix by Nick the Shield. Okay, that makes sense. Difficulty, I think it's gonna be like a 6. Not the spacing, that's fine. 631, the beats per bar, okay. Okay, so now this is gonna explore what I need. So this is gonna be uh, a spear, so... Okay, so by your purposes, that should have worked. So let's put this on till again now. So I'm gonna go to my Steve Apps Common, Trombone Chomp folder. Uh, Bim, Baby Next, uh, yeah, custom songs. Uh, I'm gonna make a folder. So the name was Spear of Justice. I hope I didn't butcher that up. Do we have a B background to that PMG? I'm gonna take that one. I, I, we can change that later. I don't have a background yet. So let's take this. Let's take uh, what else? What else did we need it here? Uh, the char, yeah, for sure. Char, this is Spear Song Team B. So song.tmb uh, we need uh, the song actually so yeah let me let me see what they'll leave it Beer of Justice what's the name let me let me change let me wait for this to arrive ha 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 okay this is the one masterchain.ogg I need to turn down the volume that, that later but we can do that later song.ogg so let's let's just check it another one so if we go to bonus trussel Song, song, um, background. Megalovania, it should be the same. Song.ogg, song.tmb, bg.png. So this, by all purposes, should work as it is. So yeah, let's open the game. Let's see if it works. Let's see if we didn't mess up. This should work. I think this should work. So let's see if it works. So yeah, I tried to load, no, 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 one pepe next loader, one patcher plugin loaded. That's my game. Okay, that should have worked, let's see. Oh, wait, huh. It's because I have a full studio open, I think. Oh, yeah, I should have opened the game before. Okay, let's do that full studio, actually, should, this should work. Let me go here for a second, I need to check something. Yeah, it's pretty slow because I have a lot of stuff open. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Okay, that's beautiful. Let me turn this up. Yeah, it's just I, I chose the wrong Ashley driver. I should have done this before I started streaming. Okay, it works, I don't care. Good enough. Good enough. So it's here. It's working. Let's see if it works. I love that. I love Color Masters Fuck Remix. That actually don't like that song that much, but it came out really well. I guess we try. That is like the lattice is weird, but this it's just a Yasu driver. Don't worry about like the synchrony. That's not.
Does this actually work? This is exactly what I wanted. But we missed one there, it's a error there. Another one. So yeah, you see that? That was, a, that was an error, so we need to fix that. So, how do we fix that? So, uh, gladly we got, we got the... We got the pattern, so... Let's fix it. So, yeah. So, what was the section that was wrong? I think it was the end of this. Oh yeah, you see? That's sneaky, that's sneaky. There is a You see that? That's a double no there. That should not be there. That's error. <laughs> it was weird because I I pretty sure I made sure that didn't happen. So yeah, that's error. So that's the error here. The slide that should be here. It's not overlapping, so that's why it bug it out. Yeah, we need to do that. That's the only. Th that's. I think that's the only mistake. Like, big one. This part also I don't like it that much. I. It, I feel this. The, the staccatos are way too long, so I need to make all of these shorter. So let's fix that. Here, same thing. The slide is not connected. Should be overlapping. Here too. It's not overlapping. And here, not overlapping. I feel I want to connect this one. I feel it will make sense. It's gonna be harder, but I feel it will be better. So yeah, let me do that. Here. Okay, I think that's the only two orders I saw. I think everything else was working. So this over here. Put this one over here. This two. I'm gonna make this unique. Trust seven. Uh, this is transpose minus one. So yeah, so I'm I have a trick for you. So we have the game open, right? And we need to retry the chart. So you need to close the game, okay? This is a big misunderstanding about how this game works. You don't need to ch to close the game if you just want to reload the chart. If you want to add a new chart, yeah, you need to reload the game. But if you just want to fix something, you don't need to do that. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So yeah, I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna glue my chart together. This is all I need. This should be working. So let me, exp oh wait, I didn't do the fixing. Let's go back. Sorry. Let's let's finish the 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 the, the, the polishing of the chart. So all of these notes, I think they are too long. Oh, let me go back. I don't need to do all of, a lot of stuff. Uh, I don't need to. Uh, okay. Yeah. Let's go back. So all of this the staccatos should be short. That should be better. So let me just put, make the, this extremely short. I think this should be f this is gonna be funnier to play. So yeah, I think that's the only change I need to do. So yeah, let's go back to here. Let's do the same thing we did again. We just make this unique. 
Ta-ta, let me transpose this one semitone to be where it should be. Ta-ta, minus one. Okay, so let me duplicate this, move it here. Okay, so we are ready. That's all of the polishing I actually needed. I, I actually like it, everything else on the track. I, I don't think I want to change anything else. So let's put all of this together. So yeah, let me export this now. Uh, file export. That's me again. Export as MIDI file. So same thing. A speed of justice, I think. That's one more chart. Okay. So uh, let me show you the trick. I'm going to rerun my converter. Saying, let's go to music, let's go to Spear of Justice, Tom and Chart. BPM was 180, right? 180, boom, let's create it again. Let's wait for this. What do you think about the Mario movie trailer? It was actually really good. So, yeah. People, so somebody made a tool to save all of the stuff so you don't need to like type everything again. And I respect that. That's cool. I think it's a great tool. I haven't updated because I have it in Chrome. So for the people that didn't know that you can do this, when you generate a new chart, it paces the notes to your clipboard. So I don't need to type anything again. I can just go to the chart. I can go to like, like let me use Atom, I think, yeah? Let me throw this song into Atom. So, so if I throw this somewhere. Ah, oh, come on. So these are all of the notes. I'm just gonna remove all of this. I'm gonna delete the notes. I can just leave it an MP array. This is the end. So we have the same thing with no notes now. I can just control D now. And these are all of my new notes. I can just save this. And that's it. I don't need to change anything. I come back, go back to the game, exit the track, load it again, and we're playing the new version. Let's try this out.
hard though. My alien's lie, by the way. Ah, that's really good. Ah, no ass. We And that's it. <laughs> really, that's it. There's nothing I want to change about that. That was a really fun chart. So, how long was the stream? That was... How long was that? That was exactly... Forty minutes? I don't. I, I can see the, uh, the time. It started at ten thirty-five. I ended that eleven twenty. Like forty minutes. The compared to the script is already released. It's public. It's on the modding server. <laughs> yeah, fifty minutes. Fifty minutes, give or take some minutes. And that's with like me explaining literally every single step of the song. I'm playing the song fully from beginning to end twice. So yeah, it's like half an hour basically. It it was really quick, right? So yeah, it's really that simple. And now you have this video if you want to reference how I do a slide and if you are missing a step. I didn't skip anything. That was from beginning to end. That's all you need to make a custom chart. What about backgrounds? Next video. Uh, another day. Uh, I don't have actually I will do it on a stream, but I'm waiting for my wife to make the uh, drawing because uh, this remix goes into my channel as like a custom music. And I use like Tromon Cham as a background, so yeah, I need to wait for until I get the art to get that part done. So yeah, that was quick. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna post this in the server too if people are like confused. And if you have any question, just go to the modding server. I'm gonna put a link on the description as soon as I, this video goes live into like my stream archive. So yeah, thanks for watching, man. Guys, pals, everything, everyone, thanks for watching. See ya next stream.